Our first story guys, West Ham footballer Kurt Zuma will be prosecuted under the Animal Welfare Act after being filmed kicking his cat, Sky News understands. I see this coming to be honest with you with the amount of backlash that he has gotten and the RSPCA has begun the prosecution process against Zuma and his brother who filmed the incident earlier this year. For you guys that didn't see what happened, it's a bit too much for YouTube. I'll put it on my Instagram at Fezify. You can watch it there. But he was kicking his cat round as if it was a football. And rightfully so, he had the animals taken off of them. I believe there were two cats that were taken away from him. A date for a first court appearance has yet to be set. Kurt Zuma's two cats have continued to be held by the RSPCA. A spokesperson for the animal welfare charity said last month, two cats are in our care and have been seen by a vet and are being well looked after. His brother, who plays in the National League for the side Dagenham and Redbridge has been charged by the charity over the incident according to the club. In a statement Dagenham and Redbridge said whilst Yoan continues to fully cooperate with the RSPCA as this matter has now progressed further Dagenham and Redbridge FC feels no longer appropriate for either Yoan or the club to make any further statements. Kurt Zuma, of course, will continue to still play football for West Ham, but will appear alongside his brother in court for this incident at some point for kicking the cats around in that disgusting video that they decided to put up on their Snapchat. Someone going through a tough time in football right now is Roman Abramovich, the Chelsea owner. He said that the UK government has froze Mr Abramovich's assets last week as part of its sanctions response to the Ukraine war. He and other wealthy Russians have been targeted to put pressure on President Vladimir Putin. The sanctions prevent him from making transactions related to their properties and businesses in the UK. Mr. Bromovich's frozen assets include Chelsea FC, which is allowed to continue operating under a special license granted by the UK government, but does have a lot of restrictions. He was spotted for the first time out in public since this at an airport. <laughs> He cannot benefit from revenue from the club and he cannot benefit from the sale of the club. Abramovich has links to Putin, who is, who is mounting a barbaric and evil attack against the people of Ukraine. This government, we in this department, stand with the people of Ukraine. And as I've said, I'm afraid sanctions have consequences. Abramovich's actions have consequences too. Abramovich being sanctioned means Chelsea are now banned from offering new contracts to players or staff. Rudiger and Christian and Aspilicueta see the deals expire on June the 30th, conducting any official transfer business, selling new tickets to any game for any of their teams, including women, junior sides, season ticket holders and existing ticket holders only, selling merchandise to fans, existing merchandise can be sold via third parties, no stadium work of redevelopment and spending over £500,000 on security, stewarding and catering costs per home match and over 20000 expenses per away game. Game. Lastly guys, Manchester City footballer Benjamin Mendy, who has been charged for an R charge and sexual assault, will appear for a further court hearing in May ahead of his trial as judges ordered. The 27-year-old is accused of attacking six women and is charged with seven counts of R charges. So it looks like we are going to see a trial which is set to last around six weeks. Then we'll find out exactly what's happening with the player. Finally, after all the remand time he has done, this case has been dragged out for a while. But I will keep you guys posted on exactly what happens in that trial and all the details. That is it for this video guys. Do me the biggest favour and leave a like. And of course subscribe with the notification bell if you're new. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Peace out.